you're watching Yak in Texas with Ty. How to's and kayak fishing reviews. Brought to you by Mariner Sales, Wind and Paddle Sports. Hey, welcome back to Yak in Texas. I'm Ty. Got a special guest on the line for y'all. Vance from Line Cutters. Now y'all see me talking on 30 miles out about this little rascal right here, this ring that cuts fishing line. Well, I got the man that invented it on the line and he's going to tell you a little bit about it. How's it going, Vance? Good. How you doing, Ty? Pretty good, man. So I've been letting everybody know on 30 miles out that we're kind of joining forces. I'm real impressed with this product. Um, man, it came in handy the other day when I was rigging up all my rods. I was blown away by it. So people are asking, what does it do? How does it cut line? It, tell them a little bit about this, how you came up with the concept and so forth. You know, I'm always looking for an opportunity to fish, and about three years ago, I was at my friend's wedding in uh, near Sandestin, Florida, and right after the wedding, of course, I snuck to my car and grabbed some surf rods while everybody else was playing bocce ball, and uh, hooked a shark, and uh, the shark had swallowed the bait, so I ran up to my tackle box to try and get to cut the thick braid, so I couldn't cut it with my teeth, and I almost stepped on a knife that was in the sand. And it was probably the third time that I ran up to my tackle box to get a knife to cut line. And it was like, at that moment, I was literally like angry, like, man, there's got to be a better way to, to do this. And I didn't have pockets, it was just in my board shorts. So um, after that, I uh, had a seven hour drive home two days later. And I just thought about where could I put a line cutter on my body? And, you know, it hit me. I'm like, well, why not put it on your finger? So I stopped by Home Depot. I bought some welding putty, broke a piece, uh, a part of a piece of dental floss cutter, and put that little cutting piece into the putty and cut my first piece of line. And I was like, man, this is going to be hot. And that was about three years ago, Ty. We just launched our website like three days ago. And... What's crazy is we're getting people from literally all over the world. So it, it, we're, we're hot, we're going, we got plenty of stock in, and they're, they're selling like crazy. I think people are happy to see us. Well, tell, I have a lot of people on 30 Miles Out Facebook already asking me how it works. Um, will it cut braid? How, how thick a braid? How thick a mono? Tell them a little bit about what it'll do. So there's two slots on the ring, and it's got a curved top. The goal is to have something on your finger that won't snag things or snag the line, uh, but you want it to be super sharp and, and easy to cut. So what we did is we systematically came up with a blade that's sharpened, sharp in a certain way, and there's actually a curve of the blade that's engineered to literally a precise curve. So as that line feeds into the slot, it puts pressure in, in kind of almost slices like if you're cutting a tomato if you slide the knife versus just pushing down how it cuts so much easier well it can cut away from you or towards you so it's 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 pretty awesome you were telling me you did a video with 80 pound braid I had a lot of requests um, asking if it cuts braid and I took the 80 pound braid and cut it and then I folded it over and I cut it and it cut amazingly well with two strands pulled through it. Then I thought, man, I should try three strands. So I had three strands of suffix 80 pound and I went to four strands and it cut like butter. So I'm wow. like, I got to show everybody. Heavy so I have is 30 sitting here. There's your green power pro. I doubled it over and I'm going to quadruple it over. So we got four strands of power pro 30 pound. And then I'm just going to run it through the ring like if I was in the field. Wow. <laughs> How to do. Hot knife through butter. Hot <laughs> knife through butter. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, I'm going to try it again. All four strands. I'm just conveniently grabbing the ring here. Whack. Man, it goes right through it, bro. I mean, just look, there's the strands. Wow. The interesting thing is if you just pushed a razor straight down, it wouldn't cut like that ring does. It's it's because of the curve of the blade. So without giving away too much um, information, that curve is, is what makes it magical. 
I see some people wearing it on the ring finger. I see I, I, sometimes I put it on my index. Uh, Teresa actually likes it on her thumb. Really? She, yeah, she puts it on her thumb and then she swipes down. If I wanted to get a line cutter's ring today, where, where would people go to find this? Well, we've got five stores right now and we're looking to, for people to spread the word and get us out into their local tackle shop. So if you guys want the ring area, uh, please tell them to carry us. But the easiest thing to do today is go to www.linecutters.com and that's cutters with a Z. And uh, we can get our orders and ship the next morning and we're, we're shipping worldwide, Ty. Well, there you go. Thanks a lot, Vance, for joining us today on Yak in Texas. Y'all check them out, line cutters. You're going to be seeing them. We're going to be filming with them this coming season, and I'm so excited for the convenience of this thing. So until next time, we'll catch y'all right here on Yak in Texas. Bam!